so hi. <laughs> it is I. Um, I am here with a bunch of animals. Um, you're going to see here, just depending on which platform you are joining in. I've got dogs snoring in the background, cats pouncing everywhere. As soon as I press record, it is like it's an invitation for them to go crazy. So um, this episode is going to be that. And we're here for it because as always, we share just the most authentic version of what is. And um, so something I want to um, update everybody on is for social media, um, I am calling myself a top star. We're calling it the top star podcast. It is still the unintentional porn star. It is just with social media. As some of us know, it is a little bit of an adventure trying to work around um, just the parameters that they have, which are both valid and also a little bit constricting in other ways. So it, it holds everything all at once, but um, I'm here for my story. I'm here to help others. And so we just step in. Um, I'm currently lining up some exciting guests. I mean, here's the thing about myself. I reach out to like the top of the top sometimes, and um, that's what we're doing. I'm going to keep the names, um, private for now. And then hopefully slash manifesting, that's just going to pop out and we're all going to be like, but no way. So that's fun. Um, but we're lining up more guests and, um, I have a friend of mine helping me, um, right now, um, just to kind of keep things together and, um, kind of help me regroup. I'm realizing that like it's been 10 years of having the tape in my life and it's been five years of me sharing my story. And I'm just, I'm really like shocked, embarrassed, um, honored all the things, um, that I've been a mess. Like I have been an utter mess for five years and I have been, um, also extremely resilient, powerful, confident, kind, wise at the same time. I wouldn't be here if I didn't have all parts of myself. Um, mm -hmm. here's the mail. <laughs> um, anyways, <laughs> if anyone has animals, like, wow, wild. Um, I just have these ones for a little bit, but anyways, um, so yeah, I've kind of, you know, I'm starting to feel in the last few episodes, in the last few months, um, I've been really sensing the state of thriving. I've been really sensing the state of, of, you know, becoming this like new version of myself. And so I think about the podcast and sort of the progression of such, and it's, it's really showcasing like the story of my growth, my healing. I have started um, to put my story up separately on like TikTok and YouTube. And it's, um, it's really working. I've tried to keep everything under the name Rebecca Reinhardt, but myself, I do a bunch of stuff, right? I'm an artist, I'm this, I'm that, and it kind of gets lost. So um, I had some advice to just like start a separate thing and it's really working. And it's just interesting to me because the story is so it's sad, right? Like it's hard, it's vulnerable, it's it's triggering, it's all the things. And it really did like tear me up inside for a long time. And just until recently is what I'm realizing. Like I keep thinking that I'm like, wow, I'm on the other side. And I'm like, wow, like I'm still just at the beginning. But um, anyways, like putting this this story back up on all these social media platforms and, and just so it like makes sense, it's available. It's like, I want it to be as impactful and empower and powerful and empowering as possible. Um, and so I'm just constantly trying to navigate that. But it's like, it, it it's when I post things, um, for like a first time somewhere, because I've been posting about this for five years, it brings me into this state of like, I, I feel like I have to look like a victim slash I am slash I was, you know, I feel like I've gone from victimhood to surviving to thriving. And now I'm in the state of thriving. And I do feel 
there's a lot of work to do. That's just like life, right? Like life is a, a bundle of lessons and a bundle of growth. Like we are just here to learn and grow ultimately. <clears throat> I have a frog in my throat. So this is all probably tough to say. Um, and yet, you know, I'm not at that place of victimhood or, or survival mode anymore. And in fact, I'm like working quite extensively on the opposite and have been for some time. Um, these are new practices that I've never understood for the entirety of my life. And so I'm, you know, I give myself grace and love for how long this process um, may take. And then I also say like, how long, like, dude, this is a lifelong process. Like, you know, like love yourself now, feel the empowerment now, be confident now. And I am, and all of the things. And it's just, it's just, it's like, it's just been such a conflicting thing. I feel like I was thinking about it. I went on a beautiful walk today. I'm in Vancouver right now. And I was walking the dog and we go in this like gorgeous ass, like forest area. And I was really thinking about how, um, and not in a like sad way, but just witnessing myself. Like I really lost my power. Like I, look back at my YouTube videos and dance. I've been sharing my dance on my personal YouTube, um, Rebs the Rekka, and, and, you know, dance was my power. And um, dance was the thing, or dancers were the thing, dance, yeah, I'm going to say plural, were the thing to, like, shoom, like, have a traumatic event drop into my life. And then, you know, I pulled back um, for a long time, <laughs> for a long time. And, um for me, a lot of my power was through dance, right? It wasn't dance. It was through dance. Like I had my confidence. I had, um, I was getting paid lots of money. I was getting flown around the country. I was like top notch. I got my green card to go to the United States. And like, you know, I was on top of the world and, and to pull back, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I did not know who I was or what my power was or how the heck to navigate. And I still find myself to this day with, more love and empowerment and confidence and and joy for life. Like I still go, man, I have no idea like about these certain aspects of my life. And, and, you know, I only know this one aspect of my life. So I, I'm just going to focus on that and manifest in the things that I know. And I'm like realizing that I'm like reshaping my, my power and not that it's ever been, been gone forever, but it was just not there for me to access really. And I, in fact, it was the opposite. I was crumbling, like I was crumbling and I was gripping um, desperately to have dance in my life. Like I, I was losing all of the jobs that I had and I was like reaching out to people being like friends and, and people. And it didn't go well because a number of reasons, but like when you're in a gripping energy, you know, that's not the manifesting energy. That's not the expansive energy. But like, I was so desperate not to lose me, not to lose this hard work that I did. And I did, I lost it all lost it all. I've been talking about it for like the last few months on my podcast and I'm really still rebuilding. Um, and, and with a new lens on I'm rebuilding with my story. I've been sharing my story, but it's been pain. Like I've been like sharing my growth, sharing my, my healing, but it has not been at a place of like, okay, like how can we sort of, and this is, might sound twisted to some people, but how can I capitalize on this? Like, I love this. It helps a lot of people. I get messages on the regular. My podcast reaches people all over the world. I get like people in person being like, wow, like you're so brave. Thank you so much. We need you like here. I want to take part. Can I be a feature? Can I help you here? Can we work together? Can you help me here? You know, it has really been powerful. So I need to be able to thrive in this, from this, with this, through this, right? And so it is this sort of twisted element. But yeah, as I'm gaining my power back and and seeking out with a, a clear mind and a detachment from my past completely, dance has not left my life. Do not get that twisted. <laughs> like I'm a choreographer forever. It's just, I really am this new person and I have all these different sides of myself and my power is through my voice, my story. My power is through my humor that I've been able to keep up. My power is through working and collaborating with people. There are things that are happening behind the scenes that I have been keeping secret and I can't wait to share it with you. It's just, you know, whether it's like protection for myself or whether it's like, I'm not actually allowed to share. There's also legal reasons for my case that I can't share things. Like there's just so many things happening at one time in every step of my life, like every step from all of this. So it's really hard. It's really twisted. It's really like confusing, but 
um, yeah, I see that. I see, you know, I was just fucking surviving for the last five years. And like, I am still sort of like, it, there's remnants of it. You know, I'm, I'm creating this brand new version of myself. I'm healing myself. Healing is not linear. Healing takes the rest of your life. And yet, like I'm at a different place. Things don't hit me as much. I'm on TikTok sharing my story and there's all the comments coming right back up. Like you've done this to yourself. Like you did this for attention or, you know, obviously this happened to you because you made a sex tape. Like all of those things are coming up, but they're not hitting different. Like they're sorry. They're not hitting. They are hitting differently. They're not hitting me the same. Like, I'm just like, I'm supporting my narrative. I'm supporting where I am and who I am. And in fact, I'm having people right back on TikTok being like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like I jumped to a conclusion or I was being an ass. And I'm like, I'm not here to do that. I'm not here to sway anyone's decision. I'm not here to prove anything to anyone. I could care less what people think of me now, which is like, as I've lost my power in, in a lot of areas of my life and like almost all areas of my life from what I thought, I'm realizing I have gained um, and I have my my power within myself and I wouldn't change that for the world. Like I lost everything and it's been so hard and it's still as confusing as I recreate, but like I wouldn't change the way I feel about myself from all this, from losing all those things. Like I really truly have a new connection with self. I have a new sense of self-love. I am working to share that self-love and how people can love themselves. I've developed like courses. I'm like, talking on this podcast, like I'm constantly trying to find ways to reach people and help people um, as I've been helped, as I've learned myself, if I have been researching, I still research, you know, I speak to all these people, friends, specialists, and I'm here just sharing very openly and curiously at the same time, like what those learnings are. And so, yeah, as I've lost my power in, in my dance and I look at other people who have done so much in the last five years you know, it's heartbreaking and it makes me feel like I'm less than and that I'm like, oh, it's embarrassing. Like I obviously didn't focus on the right thing. It's like, I literally like props to me. I am, I have survived and I'm fucking thriving from an extremely, an array of extremely traumatic events. Like I haven't even shared everything that I've been going through. And I've just been saying, like, I've been losing everything, but like to actually go through that is something else, right? Like I look at myself and I'm like, holy fuck girl, like you have done a lot. You have gone through so much. Like the fact that you are here today, the fact that you are here right now, putting on a podcast and still sharing your fucking story after everything you've been through, like, wow, like you're fucking amazing. Like what? Wow. Like I'm impressed with myself every day. So this inner power, this like inner love that I've gained for myself is the most beautiful thing ever. And it really is transpiring into this new version of myself. Like I'm literally, I'm looking into new places to live. I'm looking into new, well, not new things that I didn't connect to in the past out of like fear or embarrassment. Like now I'm stepping in to these things that I've always known I've been either good at or I've wanted to do. Like, it's just this new version of me, this confident, bold, like, yeah, it's, it's about me. It's about my process. It's not about what anyone thinks about me. I'm not here to please anyone. I'm not here to harm anyone. I'm here to help others. But like, I am still learning how to fiercely love myself and make these decisions just for myself. And, you know, I'm here to inspire other people to do the same because this has been the most incredible thing is the, the gain of self-love, the gain of self. Um, I don't want to use the term confidence because confidence has always kind of like been there oddly, but like, it is a factor of that, I guess, or like a, a bit of that, but yeah. And I don't know. I've always fiercely believed in myself. I've always had this, this feeling that like, I, you know, something big was going to happen and like, mm, yeah, big, bad things happen, but like big, good things are happening. And I'm going to make sure that big, good things keep coming with all of this shit. Like shit doesn't go away. Life doesn't just become this one glorified version of, of greatness. I mean, it does. <laughs> um, how do I describe this? It does because um, you make choice in perception, right? When bad things happen, which they always will, you choose your challenges, you choose your perception, you choose your power within whatever comes. That's what I mean. So yeah, it is fucking brilliant and it is awesome from here on in. And that does include the struggles, the power um, that I'm gaining back for myself and the awkwardness. And it just, it's, it's all of it, but it's like, it's amazing and it's brilliant. Um, so yeah. Oh my gosh. All the animals are sleeping right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
we're lucky. Um, so yeah, I guess I just wanted to touch on that a little bit and, um, also just have this episode available so that anyone that has just tapped into my story, if you're hearing this episode for the, the first time, just know the podcast starts with like, bring your tissues. It's going to break your heart potentially. Um, and then, you know, I've been going through speaking about this, um, for five years. And so I'm at a place where I'm very much like I'm, I'm continuing to instill humor and joy back into my life. So you're going to see that. And it's not to negate or take away from the pain that I have gone through or that, that brought me to this point. It's including that. Um, so just, so just know that for anyone that's new and, um, and it's, it's, it's all of me. I feel all of the things I feel the beginning of the podcast still, I feel where I am now. And it is all something that I'm taking with me to empower myself and continue to find, not find, discover this new version of self that is fucking awesome. And she's amazing. And you know, I can't wait to continue to get to know her. And I can't wait to see the community that comes in. I did a blog post recently on community. Like I lost it all. I lost all of my community, partly because I got shunned and partly because I had to take myself out. And now, by the way, in the community that I was in before, there is more shit coming out from other guys that I knew were involved in the bullshit that was involved in my stuff. And I'm like, see, 10 years later, motherfuckers, like, you know, I'm not crazy. Like I, and like, you know, so like, oh, it's frustrating for me, but it's like amazing that these things are getting uncovered and that, you know, women are getting supported now and people are speaking up. Like, thank goodness. Like when I first started, it didn't happen that way. Um, it was the opposite. So anyways, community, where was I going? Give me a sec. Oh, yeah. I'm frustrated. Um, but we're here. Um, yeah, there were a lot of things that were not in my favor law, like any, like just so many things, but that is fine. We are here. I must have gone through this for a reason. I do believe that. So we're here, but I'm definitely in a frustrated place right now. Um, cause it's been hard the last 10 years and now it's coming forward. So it's like, yeah, see, I'm not, uh, uh. okay. Community, 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 community. Okay. So I took myself out of community within dance to protect myself. Also was like freaking out. Also didn't know who to trust. Also was getting looked at funny, all the things and was getting dropped in jobs and stuff. It was just a lot. So I took myself out. What I also realized is that I I took myself out of Toronto, um, where all of this happened and where I was thriving before. And um, so taking myself out of a city <laughs> took me out of a city, like an energy of a city. It took me out all of the other communities that I was in. Like I was in like the acting community. I was taking acting classes. I was directing. I was producing stuff. I was taking, I was around the improv scene and like did a few things with improv here and there. Right. But I, I literally am now just being like, oh, you know, I'm seeking community again, uh, community again, because I'm finding trust in myself and others slowly again. I do not trust other people. Let me start by being honest about that, but I'm really working to do that because we need community. We're community beings. And I, you know, I've got friends around me. I have my loved ones, but like we need community. We need physical community around us. And mine are all over the world, which is great. Love them. And they're my like support system forever. And I know I'm loved. Um, But yeah, as I'm seeking out this new community, I'm realizing like I stepped away and like I had to step away from myself um, from an entire life of community and different types of communities. And like this gal here can make friends. Like my friend has a joke that I sneeze and make friends. And it's very true. But when you don't trust people, you know, how do you do that? Like, how do I access that part of myself? How do I access that magic? I saw bits of it in LA when I was there. I was very much in my magic and made magical things happen. I'm excited to do that again. But certain circumstances kind of led me to pain and closing off again from LA. So I'm here in Vancouver and like, gosh, I took some time to rest and recover and, and learn to feel safe. I went to a naturopath and she said like, it's going to take you like six months to a year to understand what safety means again. Like you've been hurt girl. And like pretty extensively. And so I've been doing that while here in Vancouver, I've been softening. I've been posting about how my body is softening going from like, a fucking sick ass dancer body to now like a very softer, you know, 
more feminine version of myself. And it's just hard as a dancer to, to be in a state of like, well, I don't have the physical form of the muscles and stuff, but it's like, uh, you know, it's been such a transition. Let me just say, so I'm now in Vancouver. Let's wrap this up a little bit. Um, there's always so much to say, and I'm glad to talk about it with anyone. I'm getting featured on a podcast this week. And, um, anyways, so lots to talk about, but I'm just here to say like, I'm in, you know, this new power of myself, it is, it goes through waves. Healing is again, not linear, right? And um, up, down, up, down, up, down, super high up and middle, middle ground low is where I, where I get no more, like no more dark, 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 dark. But um, I don't know. I'm craving community again. I'm stepping into making community again. It's happening around me. So there's something here um, in terms of where I land and, and how the life I create for myself in terms of locations, you know, that's still kind of formulating. I love LA. I'm seeing parts of Vancouver that I love. It's really hard to make friends here, by the way. Like, why is that? Why is that? It's one of the most beautiful places in the world. Like why everyone says it it's so hard to make friends here. And like, what the fuck? Anyways. <laughs> so we're here. I'm stepping in to solve, um, every day, all the time. And, um, I'm watching myself manifest. I'm watching the response from the universe and I'm listening in. And if things don't feel right, I'm not going to. If things do feel right, I'm going to. I'm a very experiential learner. Um, so you may or may not be seeing that online on my Instagram at Rebecca Reinhardt. Like I just, you know, I don't know where you're listening from. I know you're listening from all over the world and I love you and I appreciate you for being a listener and being here. Um, I'm here to empower myself and empower you listening and others and just you know, show that in the truth of yourself, no matter what you've been through, like you are worthy of an amazing life. You are worthy of having joy again, no matter what. Um, and that we are very, very lucky to exist. Um, we are lucky to experience all of this here on this earth. And, um, as much as it's been painful for me and really hard, and I do wish I could change things like I can't. And so my perception is I, I wouldn't change anything from there, even though I totally would, but like, I, I can't. So it's like, I have to learn and can have to continue to learn and have learned how to love what I've been through um, out of survival, out of choosing to thrive and stepping into this new version of self. And so I am here constantly um, in this, in this roller coaster journey upwards now. Um, and I'm sharing this with you with hopes of, yeah, just connecting with you and and showing you that you matter and, um, talking to people that, you know, we're talking about real things. Like we talk about challenging things. We talk about things that aren't necessarily considered normal, even though I'm like, what? my friends and I talk about this shit all the time, but like, apparently it's not normal to talk about a lot of these things. So we're here to talk about those things. We're here to talk about the challenging things, the exciting things we're here to, talk about the humorous things and just connect. I'm here to connect with people. That is what I do. Um, you know, I used to have one-on-one -on -one sessions. I don't do those anymore. Um, I am just focusing this energy on other things right now. Um, but you can always reach out to me. Instagram is the best way, um, at this time at Rebecca Reinhardt. Again, um, if you want to connect and talk about things, TikTok is going quite well as well. It's Tough Star Podcast. It's still the unintentional porn star podcast, people, but we are you're gonna see more about Tough Star Podcast, Tough Star. And you know what? I am gonna shine from this. I am gonna be a star from this, whatever that means. I don't necessarily mean red carpet, even though girl loves a red carpet because I've been in the acting, dancing, and film world my whole life and theater world. Like, girl loves that. Like, what are you gonna do? You know, I deserve to fucking shine. So Tap star, the, the unintentional porn star, tap star, here with you. Oh my gosh. Um, oh, well, I think this is a good note. Yeah, the dog, you inside, it's it's time. Um, I really appreciate you, and um, I really love you. And I'm so curious to know more about who has been listening. Don't be shy. I know this is a very polarizing thing. I know it's confusing to step into um owning that you've listened um I understand that and people have told me that um I am here for you with you and if you need support always reach out to me or professional support and also I'm just like I'm just here as a human to connect with you because this is life and I, I love you I love I love humans I love I love humans 
I say that with caution <laughs> where I'm at my journey, but I do. Ultimately, I do. And I really love animals. And um, all right, <laughs> we're going to close up shop. Um, I hope you're having a beautiful one and let's connect and um, keep listening for all the exciting guests that I'm reaching out to and hopefully getting on this podcast. Okay, goodbye.